Hi everyone. Today I'm going to do a half of a wrap up from the best of the 30 days of sketches with Christy's Beautiful Life. And um, I'm going to show you the first 15, well actually 16 because there was a bonus. And then I'll show you the last half um, next Saturday. And until um, I get done with um, showing, I'm, I want to show you the scrapbook layouts that I've done since I started, but I'm going to show you like 10 or 15 at a time depending on how long it takes, and then um, that way I feel like I can put them away. <laughs> like because I know lots of people just like to look at the um, layouts and they don't want to watch all the stuff so um, personally I like to do I like to look at them both but anyhow the first um, layout this was a bonus one and Christy Harriman of Christy's Beautiful Life had made the sketch and this is it I don't have it printed out and I'm not very good at putting those things at the top. So I'm going to show you the layout on paper every single time. Just like I have for the actual making of them. So that's the first one. And this is Skylar. And she likes to have the mask. And so she was... Um, so that's what this layout is. And I'm not going to go through the papers. Because I did tell them all in the when I made them. But I just thought I would do the layout share now. And so that's the bonus one. This is layout number one. And I'm going to show you this every time. Don't let me forget. <laughs> so I flipped it. No, I didn't. On this one, I did not flip it. But I did start these in a different spot. Okay, so that's number one. And this is number two, and this is one, it's like I was, um, oh, I did copy that, her, the first one. Okay, this is number two, right? <laughs> I've lost track. Okay, yes. Ah, so quickly. Okay, so this, is, I thought I had all these in order, but I don't. This is day two, and... This is the one, it's like, oh my gosh, and then, and then it was actually so easy, and, um, and I show how to cut it, and it's, it's very, very simple, and I love how this turned out. Um, he picked the name of the title and everything, I just think it is just adorable. Okay, and this is day three, and it looks like this. And I did, didn't do an extra one or cut the center out, but um, otherwise it's very close to the sketch. Um, they show like a transparency. I used net, and I thought it was really cute. They had their, um, they had Dr. Seuss Day. And this one um, is day number four. And... Oh, I should, probably should have been telling you who, who made them, but I show that in the um, when I show the actual making of it, so you'll see it from there. And um, this one here, it's like I I will make one for each kid, but this one is for Tegan, and she's got her ice cream over here, and she's eating the cone separate. So I called it. It's all about the cone. And I love how that turned out. And this one here is day number five, right? I wrote them on the back. Yep, day number five. And this is the sketch. And this is Aiden. He's like, love it. They have this thing that looks like a parachute, and they all play underneath it, they take turns. And he loved that. And I love how this... Now, to me, it was actually harder to do that. And I think I just made it too much work. <laughs> I think it was probably really easy. I just didn't make it easy. And this is Dancing Queen. 
and it looks like I need to do some extra gluing. Yep, and this was day number six. And they used one big star. I used three little smaller stars. I didn't have anything like that, and I thought for me to cut that out, it would be very trying. <laughs> so I thought the little stars would be good and work good for her little dance thing. And the kids asking her for her autograph. And this is day number seven, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And this is Alex, and this is career day. Oh, and I forgot to show you the picture. <laughs> uh, you'd think I never did this before. <laughs> oh, I never did this before. Showing them all at once. Okay, and I love how this turned out because it, it looks very similar to it. And it's funny because it's like a lot of them I thought, oh my gosh, it's just so much different than what I usually do but it's it was so much fun I loved it and this one here and this I took um, this was number eight and this was actually like um, Tegan she's second born she felt like she didn't get to have any grandma time without her sister her older sister so I told her she could come and we'd have grandma and me time <laughs> is what I called it with her and these were some of the things that we did when she was here like a little sampling of everything and I thought it turned out adorable I love it I guess I didn't have to describe it all because I did describe it in the other thing okay so this one here I did kind of didn't follow well it's like I did embellishments all around where they put um, photos around and then other embellishments and then a title and a long story. Now I just did a small title. Um, I will put, she just loves sunflowers so she loves this dress and so I really don't have to, I mean this really tells it all. <laughs> this is her thoughts, she loves sunflowers. So that is number, what did I say it was? Nine. And I did show you that up close, right? Okay. And this is number 10. Yep, number 10. And um, so there's the sketch right there. And I stayed pretty close to it. I even got, I even have the photos on the right side because she was looking this way. So that worked out really well. I love that. And this one here is, let's see, it's number 11. And what did I do? Oh, here it is. Um, this one here, it showed they either used striped paper, it's otherwise maybe they used all different papers, and, but it's all, it all looks solid because the way it was done and I decided that this would make a great place for a recipe and so I did that I did three pictures instead of two and then I did do an embellishment up at the corner but I didn't have it off the edge so that's melon marmalade and then I had this one which was terrifying to me and um but it's like when i seen this picture and it was really funny because my daughter had sent it to me and it's one of those um they call it live pictures and i noticed when i put my finger on it i could hear her saying i think i can reach him and also um in the picture that she sent she had her face covered up and when i'm so I went in and readjusted it so I could see her face and I love this. I think this adds to that this was taken from above and because I used um, a cool color for the background and then a warm color for actually red is the warmest color and it is on the top so it's like giving that dimension 
and I love how it turned out. And it was one where I thought, I'm not going to like this. I don't want to do it. <laughs> and, I, and I love how it turned out. And that was number 12. And I show how to cut these where it's easier than what I had imagined. Because the first time it didn't, you know, it's like I tried cutting it. And it was horrible. <laughs> okay. This is number 13, I think. Yep. Number 13. And this is my only grandson, and that's the sketch, and so I did the school picture. I just love this picture of him. He just looks so adorable. And so that's that one, number 13, and number 14 is this one here, and... Um, they had the actual, the things were probably a little bigger, otherwise they had them a little closer together. But um, me and my granddaughter, actually two of the granddaughters went over there, but the older one, she would not hold a goat. <laughs> and um, anyway, so I've got me and Tegan holding the goats. And then we have pictures of the goats here. These were the two little babies that were born um, just before we went over there or shortly before they were actually born on my birthday and um, so this is early spring and so that's that picture I love how that turned out and then this one here is number 15 if I'm not mistaken yep and um, they showed a paper that I'm not sure if they had painted it themselves or, um, you know, or colored it or whatever, but um, I just thought I'm going to use a different background. And um, my friend said, Oh, you can use the barn background. I said, I have those blue eggs I want to, <laughs> I want to document um, because I guess it depends on, her husband said it depends on the rooster. And um, so it's like I, I just wanted to document the blue eggs. I just thought they were so pretty. And I had never seen them before, so I took a picture of them. So that's number 15. And next Saturday, I'll come back and do number, well, the rest of them. So thank you for watching. Remember, if you like it, give a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.